Hi everyone, this is Automaton M99, and I'm gonna play Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades. I think, uh, some of the stuff I've seen, it's a, uh, firearm simulator. And, uh, let's see what's in this. Let's see, uh, yeah, I've kinda already read all that. Uh, yeah, just make sure it's all set up. I need a weekend to myself where I can do this again. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I mean, pretty much, pretty much got all that. Loading complete slice screen. Okay. Stay here, shoot range for off track. Probably 45 range. Fortress. Uh, oh, uh, or the outdoor range of YouTubers, friendly as farms, enthusiasts, seeing everything. Welcome to that. Okay, let's uh, see where this goes. I never played this before, so I'm, I'm just trying to figure out where I'm at right now. Uh, okay, hold on, where is, oh, here's all my guns right here. Okay, so, you don't really, uh, oh, you kind of move like you do in VR, uh, right, oh, uh, oh, that's a weird way to pick it up, but okay. Um. Okay, let's see, where is... Let me just put this back down right here. I'm out of my circle. Click on the top bar buttons to go to their various pages. Each page will save your selection and tags until you load into a different scene or reload the current scene. This spawner huh. is still under construction, so some pages may be incomplete or missing. So do... This is a sort of... Hey, I recognize this thing. This is a... Uh, this is an MTS-225 shotgun revolver. 12 gauge, 5 rounds. Double action or single action. Okay, how do you load this thing? I see this. I see the cylinder latch right there because you know I me. Mean, I, I own a revolver, so I mean I know how it is. You just you press that thing and it loads out the cylinder. No, I, just to clarify something. Any anybody that owns a revolver, never flick the cylinder out or flick it back in like you see it in the movies. It damages the crane right there and the timing of said revolver. And this is with any revolver weapon. Uh, yeah, just everything's. Uh. Okay. Okay, so you kind of have to. Okay, hold on. How do you cock this thing? This is M1911. I mean, it's. I've actually held this pistol, it's very really lightweight. 45 caliber in this. Oh, okay. Okay, I see it now. It's so much easier when you're someone like me who owns real guns. I know how to I know how to load this thing. Yeah, you, yeah, see, okay, so I press the A button and that, that opens it up and then, yeah, you can see 12 years. You wouldn't do this in real life. Yeah, you definitely, no, no, that's, like, flicking the cylinder like that, that's a massive no-no in real life. Yeah, it, it will damage your revolver. Let's see, 
And then you just... Maybe you can just push it back in there. Okay, so... That kind of... Oh yeah, this is a lot like my revolver. Just Mine's chambered in 410, not 12 gauge. That's obvious you would put shells in this. Oh, that's very realistic. It's like... Okay. Okay, so you can do it manually and just throw it back in there like a retard. Okay, I probably shouldn't have used that word about it. Oops. Okay, why aren't the shells ejecting out of this thing? The, all the shells should have ejected... Okay, there we go. I hit that. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't do that on the real one. Okay, hold on. I, I dropped this one like way down here. I can't get it. I can't get it. Nope. Okay, let's see. This looks like a maybe a Remington. I didn't mean to knock that grenade on the ground. Are you kidding me? Did I just really drop that grenade? Yes, I did. Oh, where'd it go? I don't see it. Good lord. I feel so stupid. Okay, hold on. Why is this... Okay, here we go. And I dropped a scope too. You're kidding me? Well, I got iron sights on it, so... It's not... Oh, wait, hold on. My... My... Controller is literally touching the ground as I'm trying to do this. Did I not? Well, what was that? Stupid rifle. Okay. Oh, hey, Moss and Nagget. It is. See, this is something that actually works. And then, uh, apparently, I have to get. Oh, these are all on the ground, so I can't really pick that up very well, can I? Well, that's kind of dumb. Right, where are we at right here? I've actually held the actual Mawson. Yeah. It's very nice. Undeniably. It would be so much easier if I could actually, you know, fire this thing. I keep getting out of my circle. Oh, that was easy. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to get myself familiar with this. Okay, so... Not how I was expecting that, kinda, to be honest. Double barrel shotgun. This one I've actually fired. IRL. spawn oh here okay here's my grenade how do you pull okay here we go uh oh where's it at oh dear lord how did it get back there you are kidding me uh, let's see. We got like a bunch of different guns on this thing. Bolt action pistol. Who uses a bolt action pistol? Uh, oh, wow. There's like a lot of them, actually. Huh.
See, here's something I'm familiar with because I actually do own a Glock. Pull the stupid thing back. How do you do this? This is familiar to me. Yeah. Mm hmm Yep. I like my Glock. I'll just, I'll just leave my Glock right here because I like my Glock. Move all this other crap. Yeah, sorry about it. Uh, see what else is here. Beretta. I've held a Beretta. These are very nice. You have to, like, put your hand in the center of these. Kind of weird. Oh. No. I hate when I drop. Okay, so apparently it's hard to pick up things with that. I'm... Oh, I see. I didn't know you could... safety button it immediately it immediately cocks the external hammer back into place yeah yeah i've held a i've held a beretta they're very nice the beretta's been a lot been around longer than any other gun company on the planet uh 15 something if i remember right Beretta's are cool. And it fits right in your hand. Same with my Glock. Like, both pistols are just perfect. Uh. Ooh, hey, a Luger? I like a Luger. Okay, hold on. Out of my circle again. This is so much better. Okay, this piece is supposed to, like, pull up or something. Oh, no, no, dang it. I did it again. I, I ain't even gonna pick that up. Why is, where do you pick this up? There we go. Oh, yeah. I see the... Safety's written in German. You see it right on there. Hey. I'm, I'm really strong. I'm legit struggling with this. Like, my controllers are just hitting each other. It's not even funny. Where are you? Where are you how do you do this? I'm like clicking both my buttons. What actual crap? Okay. Okay, I think I figured it out now. This thing seems to light up when I'm close to it, hitting it. That's not hard. Okay. Okay. Uh, I've got it. I've got it now. I've got it now. 
Okay. No. Yeah, it only holds like eight rounds. Yeah, it doesn't hold much. Oh man, there's like so many of them on here. It's like a bunch of stuff from World War Two too, as well. Oh wow, the Maxim Nine is in this. Laser sight. Drum mag. Maxim 9 pistol. So this thing basically has a built-in silencer. It's pretty nice, actually. Turn the laser sight on. Okay, I, I can't figure out how to turn the laser sight on, so you know, just. Yeah, I like the maxim, maxim, maxim. Let's see what else is on here. P twenty two. That'd be a really nice pistol is uh asp nine that's like cold war pistol usp match nine millimeter yeah pmr 30 i have fired that thing no recoil it's 22 millimeter oh i know what gun this is i know what gun this is um yeah. this this pistol right here was in uh half-life 2 I've actually seen these on Gunbroker. Uh, they're very hard to get. Well, like if you got a decent amount of money, they're not. But yeah. Eighteen rounds. I was counting in my head. Oh, good God! Look at all the magazines I've dropped. Yeah. I like I like USB match. H HK makes good stuff anyhow. Yeah. This, this the Maxim actually reminds me of Alex's gun from Half Life Two. To be honest. Yeah, just move that a little bit. Let's see what else we got here. Nine millimeter. That's like nine millimeter holds eighteen rounds. What's a PPK? MP5, those are just automatic pistols. What was on the first page? I, I mean... Oh, hey, the ASP pistol is in here. ASP 9mm. This is a really interesting pistol. This is uh, this was originally built from a cut-down Smith & Wesson, if I remember right. And it has see-through grips and mags. And a gutter snipe sight. Oh, man. I've I've have seen these sell for like thousands on Gunbroker. I've I've always wanted to carry one of these to be honest. Yeah, they only hold like seven rounds. You probably you've probably seen this pistol in uh the first Call of Duty Black Ops game. Back in 2010, I think that was a, that was like the first time I ever saw this thing. Yeah, you could you could tell from this gun, you know, it's it's like it's all smoothed down. Let's read it right there. A22. I don't know what that number is. Yeah, the hammer's been smoothed down. Everything's just. I like this pistol. Oh, I see now. These little ball things. How you?
Yeah. I think this was like the first pistol to have a fourth finger grip. Uh, from what I read, Paris Theodore made a bunch of these and these were a custom pistol used by the CIA. Um, there was also like 400 in existence if I remember right. Yeah, not many. Okay, so I've, I've done, I figured out my controls now. Now I know how to do this. Asp 9mm. Very rare, very nice. I have like done all the, Okay, now, I've, I've got my controls figured out now, so now I know. Deagle Love. A Desert Eagle mixed with a Mackerel. Uh, 44 Magnum. Desert Eagle. 357, you can tell it's got the threat, the fluted barrel and this. Or 58 close. Five sevens in this. Deagle. What in the crap? Mauser, I like those. I like I like my Desert Eagle Black. I like a black Desert Eagle. See this one right here is perfect. be eight rounds in it. Yeah. This is this is really nice. It, it really is nice. I, I really like this game so far firearm simulator. Of all the guns I probably will never own in real life. <laughs> oh, five sevens in this. Five seven mag. Thirty round. Five seven I've held. First time I held it, it felt like pure plastic. I guess it's it again. Cut down on it or whatever. I'm gonna need a bigger table for all these empty guns I've spawned. Yeah. Asp 9mm. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm just doing the ones that I know. Zip 22. 22 pistol. Where in the world would you ever use something like this in combat? I just have this one question. Now if I can just pick up these mags. Where is the charging handle on this thing? That's it? Wow. You have to be so precise with this. Yeah, I've got my... I've definitely got my controls for right now, so it's so much easier. I, I really don't know what to do with this gun. It'll be fine. MP5K, MP5A2. Oh, that's like a bunch of other stuff. Let's see. Tube fed shotguns? Oh, oh, oh yes. Yes, there is a Spaz 12 involved. There is a Spaz 12. Uh, hold on, I need a... 
I need ammo for this. Oh yeah, there's plenty, plenty of ammo for this. Some of these I ain't never seen before. And I, th I thought it was like rain outside. My eyes itching. Yeah, this is this is gonna make for an interesting video. Oh wait, hold on. Is there ammo right here for this? What is this thing doing? Hold on. Oh, God. Hold on. Oh. Wait a minute. That can't be possible. It's in pump action. Or hold on, is it? Yeah, it is in pump action. Or is it in semi? Because that, that would be wrong. See, oh, what just happened there? See, if this were in semi-automatic, the pump would be like right here where the second line is because you have to move the whole pump forward to do that. Maybe it's built to be semi-automatic somehow. I don't know. Where? First question, where is the ammunition for this beast? Let's get some shells in this thing. It holds like eight in a tube and then one in a chamber, but I just load it in there. I don't know, can it? Uh, another thing, you know, they completely forgot is that you have to hold down the bolt release to do this. I love a spaz 12. Hold on. Can I unfold the stock on this thing? Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I freaking can. Hold on. Is this... Yeah, it is recording all that. Yeah. Okay, so... I can... Yeah. Huh? Why is... Gun not working. Something else I forgot. Uh, the little butt hook that goes in that thing, so you can more from my like, shoulder. Oh, I thought this thing was pump action. Hold on. Something right here. Why is this thing not firing? Did I not load it all the way? Yep. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, so somehow it's set in semi-auto in the model. But, uh, in reality, the way you could tell where the pump is, where it's, like, back here at this line, this is in pump action. Uh, it's kind of weird they did that. Some of the internals in this thing are a bit strange. I've been trying to get this shotgun for the longest time. It's just so freaking expensive. 
they put it in semi-auto. Maybe the other one has a... Uh, oh, what is it? It said it was a tactical one. Oh, it's got stuff from TF2. Oh, wow. Huh. How do I get back to the thing? Yeah, it's got a... Uh. Space 12 tactical. I'm guessing this would be the one that would somehow be in... Okay, so this this is the one that doesn't have the... Uh, oh, it doesn't have any front sides on it. Oh, that's weird. This is technically how you would load it in real life, turn it upside down and just load shells into it from the thing. Yeah, whatever. So. See, it's still in pump action mode. That's kind of weird. This is the one that doesn't have the stock on it, which, me, I like the one that, with the stock on it, obviously. Wait, hold on. Are these... Oh, these are Dragon's Breath rounds. Oh, that's neat. And you can store them on the side of the gun, too. This is so hard. Okay, this version of the Spaz is just weird. I don't know. I'm gonna try pump action. This model of the Spaz, I'm keeping you. I like you. Pretty sure the bolt doesn't lock back like that. Real one, but anyway. See, this is how you would actually load. See, I don't like this one better than the other one. That one, that one was just weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping you nearby. Yeah, gentle. That, that other one? Nah, just... Mm -mm. Subaru Super Shorty. This is really just a Remington type shotgun. But... So they could have made the Spaz 12 pump action and semi. Hmm. 
He only holds like two shells in a mag tube on this thing. As far as I know. Yeah. I kind of always wanted this, this shotgun, but afraid it would fly out my hands. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Hold on. Man. Seemed a bit disrespectful to leave a Spaz-12 like that lying around. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about these other guns. There's something wrong with him. Or was wrong with him. I don't know. I am in the table for some reason. You know, I'll just put them over here. What is? Make some room. Yeah, excuse me. I think this is like a Beretta type shotgun. I don't know. Back over here with all the crap I've dropped. Mm-hmm. Worst shotgun ever made. Yeah, I'm not firing it. Strojan shotgun. Oh, this is an inertial shotgun. I don't know what is up with my headsets. My resolution's all weird right now. This is a Swedish shotgun, if I remember right. I don't know how many rounds this holds. Well, I can't pick that up now. Oh, that's neat. I like shotguns. Take the safety off. It's not too bad. Trojan. I'll just set you right here. Oh. <sighs> Careful with that. Keep going out of my circle. Oh, that's right. You can put attachments and whatnot. Break action shotguns. Uh, double barrel, obviously. Single shot. Oh yeah, I'm familiar with this. This, this right here, first shotgun I ever got. Pretty simple. You just load one shell in it. Except, I wouldn't fire mine one-handed. Yeah, just like mine, except this one's a little bit more reliable, because <laughs> that other one I got is at least 100 years old. I like shotguns, let's see, mag-fed shotguns. You kidding me, the Pancor jackhammer is in this thing, oh my god. This, this thing right here, only one exists, only one of the shotgun exists yeah wasn't very good two of them blew up during testing only three of them were ever made you can tell by the mp5 sd handguard it, it looks uncomfortable just looking at it just hurts me it's like a Delo it's like the delorean of shotguns The loading mechanism in this thing is kind of interesting. It's like a Webley revolver. You can tell all the casings have been spent in this thing. Would not want the shotgun. I mean, it is nice. I'd have it for decor, but anything else, no. like 10 rounds yeah 10 it's still a cool shotgun nonetheless <sighs> so hard to get out of this thing.
and I like bull pups, so. Yeah, see, you can tell it's rotating. It doesn't look reliable whatsoever. I wouldn't rely on it, I know that. Yeah, pan cord jackhammer. Mm, no. Oh, hey, Spaz 15 is in this? Oh, wait, hold on, that's not the original. Oops. Yeah, hold on, let me go over here real quick. Ugh. I don't like the tactical version. I like the original. I like the original version of guns. Just special. This thing I've seen on Gun Broker as well, along with the Spaz 12. I I've seen one of these sell for, you know, at, at least 15 grand. Yeah, it's crazy. It's very nice, nonetheless. Semi-auto and pump action, just like the Spaz 12. Looks more like an AR than anything else. So this thing's probably a semi. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, it's not too bad. Frenchy. French for God, French for us. I see what they did there. Yeesh. Let's see. Taz 106. USAS 12. This is a shotgun I'd like to have. It, it just looks so nice. Oh, God, the Mag 7's in this. Yeesh. Ugly. P612. Oh, that the 612 is in this? Neat. Uh, if I remember right, Korea made this shotgun. Yeah, Day Daewoo, Korea. That's who made this. I always take like three magazines. Yeah, this this is a shotgun I'd like to have. One of the Call of Duty games had this shotgun. This is supposed to be... It might be either full auto or semi. I don't remember. But it's semi here. But if it were full auto, it'd be a lot faster than how it was when they demonstrated. Unless you're like me, or... I just have a fast trigger finger. Yeah, I like a use S12. If, if the M16 was a shotgun, basically. It should have competed with that in the Sega 12. Where is the Sega 12? Is that not in here? Oh, yeah. Here it is. 612. I like this bullpup shotgun. I'm going to just use two magazines for now. So it's just... Bullpup. I like bullpups. <laughs> Yeah, this shotgun's pretty simple, actually. I guess you gotta take those out. You don't really have an ejection system, but anyway. 612 shotgun's not too bad. Okay, these firearms are piling up right here. Oh, but we got those right there. But... Hold on a minute. Where am I? Yeah, it's much better. Yeah, compact tactical, whichever one. Oh my! All the good guns are over here with me. Other than whatever that is. All right, this resolution. I don't know what's going on here. CQB eight seventy calls. Oh wow, the call shotgun is in this. This is a little something that HK made. You can tell it's. This thing uses, yeah, uh, steel shotgun rounds, if I remember right. He 
even had drum mags in it. What not? This thing should have been something. One, ten. Wait, this thing's full auto too? I don't remember there being a grip on this model. Yeah, you can tell this is brass. The reason why, because I thought of this, uh, a shotgun that's also an LMG, and the reason why is because the plastic from the shells would heat up in the MG type shotgun. And it would just melt, it would just melt the plastic inside of them. This thing's full auto too. I'll just put that back in there for later. So, yeah. Oh, hold on. AA12 is in there. I'm not. Yeah. There's a bunch of them. Let's see, let's... Micro Uzi. Oh, VZ-61. I know, it took me long enough to get to some machine guns. I like this little thing. Czech Slovakia. This was when Czech and Slovakia were. One yeah. MP5K. Uzi, Nano, ooh, yeesh. Okay, how you slide the grip off this thing? Uh, well, I guess I'll just play with that later. Somehow. Huh. Kind of did do the MP5K slap right there. I don't know how to get this grip off. I thought, I thought like, doing something to this. Oh, here we go. Never mind. Okay. See, now, now it looks like the one from Call of Duty. The first Black Ops. Oh, yeah, you can't do the slap with it. I like having that grip on it. Yeah, anybody that's played Black Ops 1 knows that uh, most of the guns in there are anachronistic. Yep, submachine gun. Okay, hold on. AP5. Glock 18, Glock 18C. Yeah. Uzi. Uh, Beretta. Breda 93R. I don't even know if these are still in use. Probably not. I think they stopped making these in the 90s. Burst pistol. The stock should just fold back up. 
remember right. Uh, I thought it would. Oh, I dropped it. Here we go. Yeah. Or uh, is Rafika, which is Italian for a burst, if I do remember right. Not really big on those revolvers. Okay, let's see. Heh! The Blade Runner pistol is in this. Where's the one? Oh yes, gotta have a python. Oh, this is the long barrel one. Here we go. Yeah. You would never flick a cylinder in life. Never. Never, ever, ever, ever do that. R Chip Aranos are in this. Yeesh. Yeah, don't worry. I'm I'm gonna be making a part two to this video, maybe some more, because uh, there's a few more of them I want to check out. You're telling me Taurus Judge is not in this MP412 Rex? Yeah, there's, I'm not much of a revolver person other than the one I just y'all just saw me fire. P11. This thing's a revolver. Smith and Wesson 629. Oh yeah, big forty-four. I have held this thing. Very nice. Just like the real revolver, just be pushing the uh, piece in, not flicking the cylinder. Got a massive hat in it. What kind of revolver has a magazine like that? How is this even? Where does this go? Oh, it's a heat sink. Oh, okay. I was wondering what that was. So that's what that thing was in the movie. It was a heat sink. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what this thing does, but... I'm not really impressed with this revolver, to be honest. Ugh. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting this thing in the trash. I just, I do not like this thing. No. Mm -mm. Not impressed. At all. See. Oh, I got those two. This is... That, that thing was just bad. Okay, let's see. What else is here? Magazine pitch. Lever action shotguns. Eh. Submachine guns. Let's see. Oh, MP40. 
This thing right here, I have, I have held. And this is all metallic. Submachine gun. They didn't have all that fancy polymer back then. Yeah, you can't MP5 slap this thing. Oh, I guess it's... Oh, that's right, it might be open bolt. Used by every German soldier in World War II. And when you're holding it by like where the magazine is, you hold it by the base, not the magazine. Because uh, I'm trying to remember what it was, but holding it by the magazine is like something. It causes a problem with something. Oh, yeah. Always like the MP40. Just a solid submachine gun all around. I can't what's going on. Always something with his headset. Oh, Chris Vector's in this. Oh. I don't know why I put that site way up here. I don't know how this just happened. Okay, I don't... Can you not take the sights off this thing? This this here is a Chris Vector. And, okay, hold on. I've really messed this thing up. That's going to bother me now. Sorry. Okay, yeah, I, I see it now. Okay, yeah, just... There we go. That's better. That'll bother me. Chris Vector, I really have held. It's actually pretty comfortable. Oh, it must be semi-auto only. Okay. And the interesting thing about vectors, they're built to take lock mags. So if I bought one, I could use mine on it. Huh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uzi Classic? Oh, I didn't know it was that. Stop it. Uzi. Oh yeah, these ain't. Uzi Uzi's are really nice. This this is one I'd like to have, to be honest. This U Uzi's are from what I've heard I heard are uh are a workhorse. Yeah, pretty simple gun. Can't go wrong with this. Suppressor on this thing. That's a pretty big suppressor. I was expecting something like half that size. Okay, it just took the whole barrel off. That's really weird. Still fires regardless. Okay, that's just. I'm, I'm actually creeped out by this thing. Is that why it's like so messed up looking? Oh. Oh, you can dispose of guns in the trash. Huh. 
That's funny. I guess I can take you two over here. I did not realize that you could do that. Yeah, you know what? I'm just, screw it. I'm just leave that pile right there. Okay, yeah, this is going to be a lot to clean up. I did not realize. Nine millimeter submachine gun. Yeah. You stay. You're good. I don't know why the whole barrel just came off that thing. That was actually pretty weird. Uh, Uzi Mini, you. Type 100. There's like a bunch of World War II stuff in here. Oh, Sten Mark II. Oh, the Spectre M4 is in this? Huh. That's neat. I like those Spectres. MP9. MP5 SD series. MP5 wood furniture. Sten. It was nice. Oh, must be open bowl. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, they are open bolt, I think. Yeah. Yep, open bolt. I have made a mess of this place. That's okay, though. I always liked a gun where the magazine came out the side. Zip pistol is just you. Oh, oops. I didn't mean to spawn that many. Let me get back here and just pick this up. Wait a minute. Hold on. Can I dual wield in this? Oh, I gotta, I gotta try dual wield. Hold on, hold on. I gotta try that. I got, I gotta see if I can dual wield. That would be cool if I did. Ah, oh, dual wield specters. Yes, I can. I can dual wield in this game. Oh man, I wish I'd known this earlier. I didn't even think about that until I had two of these. That is awesome. I can do I can dual wield. I can dual wield these. Okay, I'm only keeping one of these in my pile. Yes. The personal pile of Automaton M99. Growing larger and larger. I'm gonna need to move, move I'm gonna move y'all over just a tad so I can get here better. Oh, man. Yep, ranges over here. Okay, yep. <sighs> Sten Mark 9. I didn't know they made a Mark 9. Uh, Spectre M4. That, that just made my day right there. That just... I like the MP5 SD. Burst. Full auto. Semi. Yep. Yeah. 
Good God. Pile of guns has gotten bigger and bigger. MP9. Yeah. PPSH-41. Yep. Uh-oh, hold on. Class 2 battery is low. Dang. Alright, well, my battery's getting low on this thing. Uh, that sucks. Looks like I'm gonna probably have, I'm gonna have to get back to this uh, in a part two. Yeah. Grease gun. There's a bunch of other stuff in here. Oh, there's so many other things I want to check out. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. All right, well, uh, I guess this is it for uh, me tonight, playing hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. I got all the junk guns over there. This is probably not going to save my pile right here, but that's all, that's all right. That's all right. All right, I'm going to get back to part two later. Take care.